Reckoness Peninsula of Iceland is full of amazing things, especially for geologists. This is a paradise for studying geology. And today I want to show the pattern of the earthquakes. Early morning you see that the pattern of earthquakes, the uh, red ones, are the latest ones. And they come from the ocean, hitting the Grindavik, going up the dike toward the Swartsengi, and then all the areas to the east of it, including the Fagadesville, Little Hotro, and the Glacial Lake, and all that, one by one, get the earthquakes. It's a stretching from the sea, then toward the land, then accommodating along the fault lines. This is a stretching, you can see the extension. You can see that the dike and the rift is extending like that every day. It's in a way similar to what I described uh, two years ago, in the Fagadesville volcano area, when we have a drop down of the fault line and the magma rises from that face contact of the two fault lines and then reaches the surface. This is the extension of the mid-Atlantic ridge creating this and the drop down of the faults by the extension, you can see the directions by the arrows here, creates this extension, the void that the magma rises to fill up. It's like a zipper. When one opens, the next one has to open next. This is Otherwise, you will not uh, you will not have a way to accommodate this movement. This is a very interesting phenomenon. We are seeing it in real time in Iceland by studying these seismograms. On the map, you can see that. And we saw it in the Fagadesville up to the Little Horto and toward the Kalia. My prediction is that it moves toward the Kalia gradually to go into the vicinity of Reykjavik. But at the moment, this is what we see in the Grindavik. And that port, that harbor exists because of this zipper action opening up from the ocean toward the land and gradually going towards Sortsengi and the next areas toward the east of it.